Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are looking at multiply and divide by nine, and we are on page 235. Let's go ahead and begin by looking at our story problem. Caroline has $27. It costs $9 an hour to rock climb. How many hours can she rock climb? All right, and so climbing for children, $9 an hour, harness and helmet included. Okay, good. All right, so here they've drawn this model. This was the one I don't prefer, so let's go ahead and draw the, uh, the model that I like, because I think it's just a little bit more clear. So she has $27. It costs $9 an hour to climb. So we're looking for how many hours she can climb. All right, what is 27 divided by nine? All right, hopefully you know that because you should know the facts for this number um, other than nine, but let's go ahead and look at it, okay? So I need 27, so I need two, so I'm gonna put that finger down. So there's 20 and seven, all right? And so what finger did I put down? I put the one, two, three finger down. I put the third finger down, so it is equal to three. And that's true because three times nine equals 27. So she can climb for three hours. All right, let's look at page 236. All right. Aka and eight friends go ice skating. Each admission costs $7. How much do they pay for admission? All right, <clears throat> so let's model this. The book doesn't have a model for all these, but we want to model all of them, okay? So she has eight friends, eight groups. Admission cost $7. Oop, I messed this up, didn't it? She and seven friends, or he and seven friends. So there's nine people all together, okay? So this one's a tricky one, right? Because he had eight friends and this person. So you have to put those two together, which makes nine, all right? How much is that? Okay, so we have to do nine times seven, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, three, 63. All right, so $63, and we know that's true because 63 divided by seven equals nine. All right, next one. A uh, nine boys buy a bucket of popcorn each at the movie. They pay $54 altogether. How, what is the cost of each bucket? Okay, so they buy nine buckets, it costs 54, how much is each bucket? All right, so here we're gonna divide. So I need 54, okay? So 54, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I have a five over here and a four over here, and I had to put down the sixth finger, okay? So it equals six, and that's true because six times nine equals 54. All right, number three, Lola cuts 45 inches of tape into nine equal pieces. How long is each piece? Okay, so we have 45 inches of rope, nine equal pieces, oops, nine equal pieces. How much is each piece? Okay, so to figure this out, whenever we have the whole and we have either the number of groups or how much each group we're going to use division. So it's going to be 45 divided by 9. Okay, so I have 45. So I need 4, so I put this finger down to get 45. What finger I put down? I put down the fifth finger. Okay, so 45 divided by 9 is 5, and that's true because 5 times 9 equals 45. Okay, so each piece of tape is 5 inches long. All right, let's turn over to page 237. Mr. Reed sells jelly at $9 for each jar. He collects $81 from the sale of jelly. How many jars does he sell? Okay, so let's model this. He sold it for $81. Each jar is equal to nine. How many jars did he sell? So here, what operation am I going to use? If I know the total, right, am I going to use multiplication or division to figure out the number of groups? I'm going to use division. 81 divided by 9. 
All right? So 81 divided by 9. So let's go with that. Okay, so I need 8 on this side and 1 over here. Okay, so there's 8 and 1. What finger do I put down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I put the ninth finger down. 81 divided by 9 is 9, and that's true because 9 times 9 equals 81. And so he sells 9 jars of jelly. All right, Mr. Reed displays the jars on a cabinet with six shelves. There are nine full jars of jelly and an empty jar on each shelf. How many full jars are there? Okay, so um, how many full? So here they've given us some extra information, right? And um, how many full jars are there? We really don't need to worry about that one, right? Because all we care about are full jars. So there are nine full jars of jelly and an empty jar on each shelf. And there are six shelves. But it doesn't ask us how many. So here they're trying to trip us up, okay? So that's why it's important to read it so we get that. So how many full jars are there, okay? So we're trying to see how many jars there are. So we're going to question mark. There are six shelves. And you could draw five lines or do it like this. And each one is nine. So I have six groups of nine. How do I figure that out? I'm going to use multiplication. Six times nine. All right? So here we go. Six times nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that down. Five, four. Fifty-four. Ah, there we go. Fifty-four. And that's true because fifty-four divided by six equals nine. And so he has 54 full jars. All right, let's turn over to page 238. And there are three problems here for practice on your own. So on these, make sure that you're modeling them correctly. Make sure you're doing the algorithm correctly. And you're doing a check. Okay? So do those three and then come back to the video when you're ready. Go ahead and pause now. All right. So let's look at these together. Okay? Brandon uses nine cubes to make a layer as shown. Okay, so there's a layer. How many cubes does he need to, need to build five layers? All right, so model this. So we're looking for the total number of cubes. He wants five layers. So I draw four lines to break it into five parts, and each one has nine. So what operation are we going to use here? Yeah, we're going to do five groups of nine. We're going to do five times nine. We should hopefully know our fives. Five times nine is 45. 45 divided by five equals nine. Okay, and that, those two match. So the answer is 45. All right. Next, Cindy uses craft sticks to make the figure as shown. How many figures can she make with 63 craft, uh, craft sticks? Okay, so 63 sticks is how many we have. She uses nine craft sticks to make this figure, so each one is going to take nine. And we're looking for how many total, All right? So here, we know the total and we know the, the, how much each group is. How do we figure the missing group? We're going to use division. 63 divided by nine equals, okay, we don't know it. Well, I need 63, so I need six over here, so i got to put that finger down. Six and three. So what finger did I put down? Five, six, seven. I put the seventh finger down. And that's true because seven times nine equals 63. And so how many figures can she make? She can make seven figures. On the last one, Ian puts 54 cups into nine stacks equally. How many cups are there in each stack? Okay, so to model this, we're gonna have 54 cups nine stacks, and how many goes in each stack equally, okay? So 54 divided by nine, so I need 50 and a four, so that means I gotta put my thumb down. What finger did I put down? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put the sixth finger down, so that means that 54 divided by nine equals six, and that's true because six times nine equals 54, okay? So six, cups. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day. Good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.